I've got something I think pretty special for you. We're going to look at Travis Picking, which is basically the heart of rockabilly. Uh, and also, you know, extends well into country music, folk, uh, other genres. It's a finger picking style that is intimidating for many people. So what I'm hoping to show you today is an easy way to get into it. Um, I think I've highlighted a couple of things that make it difficult for people to learn Travis picking and come up with an introductory lesson here that's going to circumvent some of those issues. So what is it that makes Travis picking intimidating for a lot of people? Well, first of all, there's a lot going on with the right hand. You've got the alternating bass with the thumb and then you're picking notes with your other fingers. You've also got uh, some of those notes that are not happening on the beat. They're happening on the, the off beat. Okay, so those are two of the things that make th this challenging for folks. A lot of times when you see lessons on Travis picking, the instructor will be starting with a six string chord, maybe a difficult chord that you don't already know, like a 13th chord or something like that. And with a six string chord, you might have to alternate the bass between the between the sixth and fourth strings. So you're jumping a string and then when they go to the four chord, oh, then the bass is between the fifth and the fourth string. Um, they've got you finger picking with more than one of your non-thumb digits. So I want to avoid all of that and get you started with something really easy. We're going to only use four strings and we're going to only use two fingers. Okay, we're going to use the thumb and we're going to use the index finger. And we're only going to use the middle four strings. Okay, five, four, three, two. Now if you've seen my other lesson on playing slide guitar uh, on a baritone ukulele, I talked about how this is an excellent platform for learning different finger picking right hand techniques because you've got only four strings instead of six, two fewer strings to screw up on, right? And you've got the wider string spacing. Highly, highly, highly recommend the baritone ukulele. You can get a cheaper laminate kala for, you know, a hundred bucks without the pickup and stuff. But, uh, and if you tune it to an open tuning, you can practice this without even plugging it in, without even fretting the left hand, you know? And so forth, you know, sit on the couch, sit on the porch, just... getting that, that right hand going. So highly recommend the baritone ukulele. We're going to look at guitar today and what I want to show you on to keep it to those four middle strings and kind of use that ease of the baritone ukulele on the guitar is the seventh shape. You know your first position C chord, right? And you know your C7. We're going to move it up to the 5th fret and that gives us an E7. Now of course you could fret. I mean you could play the 1st and 6th strings on an E7 because they're E's, right? But we're not doing that. We're going to stick with those middle 4 and that's going to help us um, focus and it's also going to mean that we don't have to skip a string on the alternating bass. We're going to play our alternating thumb bass on the fifth and fourth string. So, that's step one. You need to get your thumb moving in that manner. Now you don't have to palm you lots of times with Travis picking the, the bass strings will be palm muted like this, you know, just laying your meat of your palm here on <clears throat> the strings near the bridge. You don't have to do that if that adds extra complexity to this at this early point. You can let the strings ring out. And you want to just dip them, switching to a 
chords from the 5, E7, 4, D7 to the 1, the A. Okay, so get that thumb going. That's your first step. Okay. Second step, once you've got that down, you've got it, it's in your sleep, you're doing it at school or at work, you're just going boom, 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 back and forth. Let's look at the first measure. This is a two measure pattern that we're learning, an easy Travis picking pattern that we're learning. The first measure has only one upbeat note on the and, you know, the one, two, three, and four, for example, okay? So first beat is just playing that bass note on the fifth string, seventh fret. Second beat is a pinch of your four and two string. Again, we're only using these fingers. So one pinch on the two, three is back to the fifth string bass note, and now here's the and four. So the three, third string index finger is your and, and then your four is the fourth string bass note. So one pinch, two, three, and four. One pinch, two. for a while until you've got that down because that's easier than the second measure. Okay, the second measure has two offbeat notes. Okay. okay, so the second measure sounds like this. We've got a pinch on the first beat between the fifth string, thumb, and the second string index finger. Second beat is our bass note on the fourth string thumb. We've got an AND note on the third string, AND three, and then we've got another AND note on the second string, AND four on the fourth string. So it is pinch one, two, and three, and four. Pinch So practice that for a while and then we'll put the whole thing together. So once you've got that down, let's put the two measures together. One, pinch two, three, and four. Pinch one, two, and three, and four. One, pinch two, three, and four. Pinch one, two, and three, and four. That's the whole eight beats, the whole two measures. And you put the whole thing together, the little turnaround I did at the beginning, it would sound like this. And then I did a little pentatonic, major pentatonic, which should be more in the vein of a rockabilly hammer on. chord there at the fifth fret, hammering from the minor third to the major third. And I've shown you those sliding sixths in many other lessons. That you can check out. Okay, so once you've got the pattern down with a four string chord, you may want to move into some five and six string chords. The natural next place to go would be a five string chord. And sticking in similar territory there, instead of an E7, we could do an E9, which is a chord you should know. This ninth shape. It's basically very similar to the C7, these three are the same, but then it would be like if you were laying down, 
your pinky there at the ninth, uh, at the seventh fret, and barring the first three strings at the seventh fret. And because it's hard to do that when you've got your fingers like this, most people will shift over and bar them instead with the ring finger there. So you've got. So we're going to keep our alternating bass five four, but our pick notes instead of being on the second and third string will be on the first and second string, and you'll hear that it gives it a much brighter tone. It's still one, pick two, three, and four, pick one, two, and three, and four. So play with that one a little bit, or just if you're a real beginner and you really don't want to get up here too much, just do some first position chords. Play an A chord, lay the seventh down there on the third fret first string, and it does sound better if you mute an open string. When you get to your most advanced, try some of the six string chords, like an E7 at the first position where you are alternating, alternating the bass between six and four. Same pattern, okay? Have some fun with this. I hope this helped. And I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.